What is up everybody? So today we're gonna to be going to a customer's tank that um, apparently has some green slime algae in it. Now this is a very rare thing to see green uh, slime algae. I don't see it much. I've probably only seen it maybe three or four times my whole time working uh, doing aquarium service. But it's always kind of a pain in the butt. It's a lot different than the red algae as far as uh, treatment. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to that customer's house in a minute. But first, I'm at a, another customer's house and I have to drop off some fish and some invertebrates for them. And while we're here, let's go ahead and just take a look at their tank and I'll, show, I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. So this will be the addition we're gonna be making today. So this little mandarin goby right here. This is a male. And then, and then we got some conchs and some snails. Conchs are just awesome for your cleanup crew. And then more cleanup crew right here, just some hermit crabs just to kind of keep things tidy. Every so often I like to kind of add a couple more of these in the tank. So let's go inside, bring these guys and take a look at the tank. So here we are inside the customer's house and this is their tank. And it looks okay. There are some damaged corals cause there was a, a, an anemone that was right in this area that was stinging a lot of these corals, but that anemone is gone now. So we no longer have to worry about that. Um, but some of the corals did suffer because that anemone decided to move and it stung them pretty bad. So it's nice to kind of have those out of the way. Uh, but for the most part, corals are looking pretty good. You can see that monopora is encrusting, that favia right behind it looks really good. Um, the hammer coral looks really nice. Uh, and then all the uh, soft corals, like the toadstool right there, another hammer coral there. Everything's really looking, uh, it's coming along really nicely. I'm happy about that. Now, I love the rock flower, rock flower is huge. A lot of people don't realize those rock flowers get that big. But that one toadstool, that started off as uh, one piece, and you can see there's a little piece that floated off back here in the corner. But so that started off with one piece, and there's one, two, three, I think there's a total of four of them in here. And then these mushrooms are absolutely just sick. So ridiculous, I love the way those look. Even They're even better in person. And, um, yeah, so like I'm really happy with the way this tank is looking. Oh, there's the other, there's the fourth toadstool. Yeah, yeah. So one, two, three, four. All that came from one single uh, toadstool. They just break apart and they spread real quick, which is kind of cool. And that big colony of hammer corals right there up top is growing out nice. This monopora actually got stung by the anemone that was over here, um, and it's now that the anemone's gone, it's slowly coming coming back. You can see where the dead spot right there, and then the pink where it's growing back. So that's really encouraging to to see because uh, it it just looks great in this aquarium. That bright pink in here really uh, makes this tank pop a lot. And then we have some zoas down here that are looking really sweet. And then some more pallies over here in the corner that are awesome, looking, doing great. And then, oh, there's eagle eye zoas right here that I just put in recently. That's a, a, a more recent uh, addition. But this is like a true uh, mixed reef tank because you have, I mean, you have your uh, LPS, your softies. There's a chalice coral that again was not doing good, but it's starting to come back. I mean, that there was a little bit of flesh left on that coral. That's a good note, guys. If, if your coral, don't take the skeleton out. It, it can always come back. Uh, just because it's hurt, as long as there's a little bit of color, it can always come back. So we left that chalice in here and it, it, I thought it was done for once the anemone got it, but it's come back and um, looking much better. Got some star polyp on the back there. Again, guys, like look at the coralline algae growth in this tank, like all on the back wall. It's all on the rocks. Yeah, this tank is really dialed in. We had a, a couple speed bumps here and there, but it's really starting to dial in. Another thing I want to point out, you see that blue hippo tang swimming around there? That, that fish is well over five years old and it has not grown very large. That's because this tank isn't very large for it. I'm not a fan of having uh, tangs in tanks. I don't think there's really a tank that's big enough for a blue hippo tank, especially. Um, it's just not healthy for them. So they're growing on the inside still. They're just not growing on the outside. So um, unfortunately that will stunt their uh, life expectancy as well because those internal organs continue to grow, but the outside's not. And eventually they'll end up having some issues. So this Kenya tree has made its way over here by this green leather coral and it's stinging it pretty bad. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that Kenya tree off there so that uh, leather coral can do better. So I got the conchs acclimated and they're in here now. And I also got the hermit crabs in as well. So I got all the invertebrates in so far. 
I also put the Mandarin in, but he's hiding in the back somewhere, so hopefully he does well. I think this is a well enough established aquarium for him to succeed. Uh, but all in all, I'm really happy with the way the tank is progressing. It's a mixed reef. Anybody who's done saltwater tanks knows that mixed reef is probably the hardest because you're dealing with so many different um, needs of so many different types of coral. So given that, I think um, we've done really well so far with this aquarium. So I'm out here once every two weeks. When I come out here, I will probably bring some copepods that we have at the shop and dose them in the aquarium just to make sure that that mandarin uh, dragonite has plenty to eat. We wanna make sure that he's fat and healthy and happy. But right now, let's go ahead to the job and let's go see how bad this green slime algae really is at this uh, customer's uh, aquarium. So here we are, I got the white lights on right now and yep, I definitely can see some green slime algae. Uh, so uh, it's not too bad. There are some pockets in certain areas over here on the rock where the rocks look like there's a lot of detritus in there. A lot of um, gunk is in there. Uh, the rock work doesn't really breathe, I guess. It does, there's not much flow. There's also some hair algae down here on the bottom as well. And, but the green slime algae is way worse than the sand, which is a problem. And then back here in the corner, there's some more green slime algae and a little bit of uh, diatoms in the sand as well. So, but you can see the, the rock, and there's some more green hair algae, shoot. Uh, but there's coralline algae, that's encouraging. Uh, this is definitely a mature tank. Now this tank has been, this is not one of ours. This was one that's been up way before us. I'm not quite sure how old this tank is, but I mean, look at the bubble coral. I just recently put that little mushroom in there. Uh, the corals themselves look pretty healthy. Um, look at that. I think that, that was that frog spawn. It doesn't look too good because it's close to that anemone, which is concerning. Uh, but yeah, this, they started off with one anemone and now I think they got like four or five of them. And they're, yeah, they're, it looks like that one stung the piece of monopora that I put there on the wall. I was hoping to get that monopora to grow off that wall. And it's also stung this torch coral which I'll have to move now. That's frustrating. Now, I, I wanted to get the anemones out of here, but the customer likes them and they don't want them out of here, so I'll have to keep it. They, it there used to be an SPS coral right beneath that anemone, but the anemone stung it, and I wasn't able to move the SPS because it was really on the rock work pretty good. Um, again, the customer likes the anemone, so not much I can do there. Nice colony of frog spawns. There's tons of Hollywood stunner in here, but it's kind of... Uh, uh, oh, that Lobo is looking real good. Uh, the, the Hollywood Stunner, it, it's splotchy, but it looks like there's detritus on it, which might be preventing like even growth. Um, and then we have some mushroom corals down here. Now, a lot of this coral was here way before us. We didn't put, 90% uh, of this coral we did not put in here. Uh, this is not us. This was not our job. Nice little sand sifting fish there in the sand bed. We did put that one in. Ooh, the trumpet corals are badass. Look at that. Look at the color on those things. Wow, and that toadstool is not looking very good. It's right there by that flow. I'll have to check the alkalinity, see what's going on there. And then look at this, look at this uh, red algae growing naturally on the rock. It actually is attached to the rock and it's growing naturally. That's f awesome. That is really cool. That's, that's really cool to see. So one thing I'm picking up on, the right side of the tank is way darker and this, this area right here, that's star pulp and it's looking terrible. So guys, I just figured out that the right side of the tank, the lights on the right side are not working properly. It looks like some of the LEDs are messed up. So this also might be contributing to some of the issues uh, that the tank is having. But the right uh, Hydra 52s are not working right. They're old and the LEDs are all types of messed up. So that's definitely an issue. So I'm in the middle of scrubbing the tank. There's a lot uh, that needs to be done there. It's a, it's a weird shaped tank. It's hard to get into certain areas, so I'm not able to really film well. But um, what I've noticed is there's a lot of dead uh, uh, pockets in that aquarium, and we should definitely think about putting another uh, power head in there. I'll talk to the customer about that because that would definitely be helpful, get some water movement in there. Now we didn't originally scape this tank. This 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 was a tank that we picked up. It was already previously scaped, so it's, it's very bunchy. There's a lot of areas for detritus and things to hide, which is not good. Now that's I think that's contributing to some of the, the the algae issues that we are having. Another issue is they have their own RODI unit here, and um, 
the water where they live is not good water. So we also have to add another DI resin to this, uh, to their RODI system and maybe even another carbon. So we got to add another couple of canisters just to make sure that that water is like just perfect going into the aquarium. But I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to go ahead and do a big water change. I'm going to add some, uh, some GFO, some phosphate remover, and I'm going to finish scrubbing. In my experience, the green algae seems to be a lot more difficult than the red algae. Um, I've used the Chemi, the Chemi uh, Clean. I've used the red slime algae remover. We've done the whole thing and um, on different tanks and it's worked, but the green slime seems to always seems to come back, unlike the red. The red seems to kind of, when it's done, it's done, with the green kind of creeps back up on you. There's obviously a nitrate phosphate issue going on in this aquarium, so we'll have to find that balance. And I would love to hear your guys' comments about uh, if you've ever had or dealt with green slime algae. How did you get rid of it and how were you successful? I think that'd be beneficial for a lot of people that come across this video to talk about it. Like I said, it's not common in the saltwater hobby. Uh, usually it's more of the red cyanobacteria that you get. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish scrubbing the heck out of this tank and um, then I got a lot more jobs today. So I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys this. Let's talk about it. Sorry, so let me go back in there. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.